you're considered one of the um, house music greats. How did you achieve that title? Just by working hard. I, I assume I did a lot of good records that other DJs liked and they categorized me. I didn't make, my, I didn't make that for <laughs> myself. That's what people say. And hey, when I first came here, I was quite shocked to see two massive sized rooms simultaneously packed. Couldn't believe it. Never seen that before. <laughs> and this club is like one of the few clubs left, I think, in this country that can have the amount of people it has coming to it. I know you've been DJing for almost 15 years. Um, how would you compare the music today to like the, the 80s? Music today is retro disco. And the music of the 80s was more synthesized. Right. So I'm finding that this music now is starting to sound very like late 78, 79, which is quite kind of cool. You got a lot of producers taking old disco records and implementing them with those house beats, and they seem to be working, and the kids think they're brand new records. <laughs> and it works for me every time. I mean, I'm like, you know, something that we played 10, 12, 13 years ago, I'm replaying again, you know, resampled and yeah. reworked, like a lot of the stuff Daft Punk does, and Moose T and, you know, Masses at Work, and it just seems to work. Have you got any new production work coming out? Yeah, I just finished Rosie Gaines. Uh, I surrender for Big Bang. Do you have your own label or who do you put it out through? Well, I'm working on a situation through Azuli. It's going to be called right. Perception Records and I'm going to give it a crack to see if I can put records out from other producers and see how I can do as a record label owner. I'm going to give it a shot. <laughs> I've never been a record label owner. I've been a producer, remixer for, for a long time. But I think it's my next step. You know, I see everybody else doing it. I've seen yeah. David Morales. Masses at Work, Tony Humphreys now has Yellow Orange. I mean, a lot of you know DJs are, are now getting into the record label business. Who do you respect the most? American-wise, Tony Humphreys. UK-wise, Danny Rampling. Why is that then? He breaks new music. He's after to, to break new stuff. His job is to get stuff before everybody else, and he wants to play it. I have to give him a lot of respect for that. And Tony Humphreys, for eons, has broken millions of records and how, and how many records I've done and he's broken. I have to give tip my hat to him. <laughs> and I think, I mean, it's, it's something like 117 clubs that you've played worldwide. I mean, that, that's a lot of clubs. Where's your favorite? When I came here last time, not to, to hype this club that I'm playing at, but when I came here last time, it turned my attitude towards the scene a little bit more. Um, it gave me a little more respect back for England that there is a venue that I can play the way I want to play and the crowd is well up for it. I find that Japan is actually well up for it yeah. and the west coast of America.